OG with their lineup at the time. They have Thompson back in the game. They've got some mail. It's, you know, it quickly shifts back out of balance. And meanwhile, bottom lane, Sumail looking for a kill here. Pango might go down. General, six seconds for a swashbuckle. Sumail doesn't commit fully for it, but no tail will be the first blood. Aloha Dance will find the kill. Yeah, exactly. You're going to need uh, need Thompson with the burst damage to make it work out. But now they have the Oracle thrown in with the last zone. It's not interrupted with the X mark, but it will go down. And now the interruption coming in from FTM. OG on the run. Thompson, he doesn't want to die a second time here. Gets the stun on Iceberg. Gets the kill. v tune right next to Thompson. And now it's a one-on-one -on -one fight here. Sucks it just throw the stun in. And Loha dances there as well. But the skin carapace will stun him in place. And the Loha dance is on the run now. They managed to get the Stark away from the battle. Now comes Pango. General throws in the ultimate. He's going to try and stun lock Tiny. He will get two. Does he get the third one? He will die to always want to fly. And now OG on the run. They've lost one of their cores. They've actually lost two of their cores now. And Sumail coming in. When will he use that Chronosphere? Is he going to use it at all? They will lose one target. General now in the river. Socks are frozen to stun onto the Pango. Another disarm coming in from always want to fly. And General is sur he's surviving there because of that. And Soxa is so close to dying. Aloha Dance will chase down Soxa. Kills him with the Shikuchi. And now V-Tune. He's happy to disengage from this one. X mark, Soxa. In Carapace will soak up the damage from the boat. Gonna get rooted up mid one and Thompson instantly rotating to the help. They do have a lasso available, but he doesn't have the mana to cast it. They don't need it for now. Always want to fly, will fall. Iceberg in trouble. He's isolated from the rest of his team. So FDM, they're gonna sack their Kunkka. And a lower dance. Soxa, nice stun onto the Weaver. They should reveal him in just a second, and there he goes. Deleted. Then again, he comes for a buyback. They've got the boat connecting onto Thompson and Conker's in. They've got the two Magra multi as well. Holding the Slark double lasso. Look at that beautiful thing. Oh, he's trying to clip both of them, but they're just held in place. Slark is solo to dying V2. He's doing the Chronosphere. Sumail catching three. Slark will fall. They're also set to take down the Kunk. Iceberg is dead. Always want to fly. Will melt as well. And OG are running them over. Thompson will follow up onto General. Throw him to his teammates and make sure that General will will not tell his kids the story about how we fought against OG and we did not prevail. He's still holding alive for now, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. He's down. Maybe we'll see more of this. Maybe in some more better fashion. Thompson playing really aggressive here. Can they catch him? This is a big kill for FD, and this is a huge pickoff here. Thompson will fall. He will feed the mega kill streak as well to General, and his aggression has been punished. Get the X mark and the Grim. There comes the boat. Double ulti thrown on before he gets stunned up. Nyx will also get the stun onto Konka. Sumail, no Chronosphere available. Just trying to hit the bug first before he goes into the fight. General, getting a nice amount of damage out. Mid one in trouble, he will fall. And this is so many losses for OG already. Aloha Dance is trying to man fight here with Sumail. Just tanking him up while trading hits. Always when Fly will take the kill with the Q. Oh, the Fusil Blade, the slows there. Won't survive this one. Meanwhile, another fight breaking loose. No tail gets his ulti off. He's got backup coming. Thompson coming in. The toss. Another toss. And he will die because of it. The Grimstroke ulti allowing the double toss to land onto General. So he takes double the damage and he will fall. Thompson, blink dagger ready. Goes for the avalanche. Goes the toss. And now we have the Oracle in trouble. He will go down as well. Conker pops his BKB though. He pulls back Thompson with the X mark. And he's trying to run away behind his tier 4 towers. And he will be fine. Oh. Is not going to let them Aloha Dance. And the same thing again. Aloha Dance falls and they will just throw in the Conker combo for it. Won't work out this time. Mid one looking for the last so but it doesn't get it off in Sumail trying to land a Chronosphere, but there's not enough targets right now. He oh no, the flame break just happened. That just happened, but they have to take this fight anyway. v in the middle of the battle. They throw the avalanche onto the ground as well, and they got Slark in his ultimate. No tail is dropping really low, and he might just fall. He will. Now we've got the Pangolier in the middle of the fight as well, and he's just sanking hits. So it's also dropping really low. He does have his jump available. He will jump away. General, he's halted by the Oracle. Not sure if he's going to survive and live through this. He's really low. I think he might just actually live through this, and Thompson will buy the time. Sox also throws in another stun to keep Iceberg and v in place and on the run they have they have no vision about OG they can only just rely on their instincts and their info that's given that we see Soxa and mid one OG however see their entire team pretty much and they will find the general Pango Lear Pango in big trouble 
He will go down. That's the opener for OG. They can take this fight now. Always want to fly. Trying to go for the run here. He does have an Inkswell mid one right next to him. So he will end up getting stunned up on Iceberg. Turning around with a stun. Sumail, 20 seconds for this Chronosphere. Doesn't have enough right now. But he will go for the fight. Be tuned. The Slark just trading hits. He doesn't get that many out, however. And he's still building up stacks. Mid one trying to get his way out. Just pop his BKB. Sumail in trouble. He doesn't get his jump off and he will die. He does get leashed up. Now Topson in trouble in the trees. General will find him. There's another fight breaking loose at the same time as Soxa will be hit by Iceberg and the Oracle. They will lose mid one. They will lose Topson. They're going to lose Soxa as well. There's a DD in the river, however. This could, if they make it in time, OG actually, they leave the Roshan because they find themselves a pick off and it's Aloha Dance once again. But he gets a salty off the E-Blade, actually screws up their combo here, in a sense. I mean, he does have a lot more tankiness than before. It's not necessarily the problem of the E-Blade here, but Aloha Dance is just kiting them out. And FTM looking for an opening. Thompson is going ham. He wants to jump straight onto the Kunkka. He throws his combo on Smail Goats. He gets his Chrono. He's got two. He's got the Oracle. Always want to fly. will fall down first. General coming into the back line. They take down No-Tail. Saxa trying to run away as well. Thompson and Sumail already disengaging from here. Mid one is in big trouble. He's got his BKB popped up. He's just kiting them around the river. Thompson coming in around for another round. He takes down Ice. Now Sumail and Hobson looking for an answer here as General chases down mid one. v -tune with the DD rune is going to run out in like two seconds, so he might not be able to use it here, but OG looking for another. A nice two-man stun coming in and Sumail jumping into the fight as well, but he will get that avalanche back up from Topson and they blow up a low head dance and they need to get these cores. v -tune has popped his ultimate. Sumail is still being kept alive. He's been e bladed by his teammate as well, so he won't be taken down by the right clicks. And now Slark in trouble. He's in the middle of everyone and OG will blow him up or will they? v -tune? he's bumping Satanic. He's just regenerating out of everything. He's going in for Sumail again, and Sumail is just trying to get some distance. He manages to get the jump off just in time, and he will live. V-Tune is not able to get any kills here in general. Still keeping up the chase. No-Tail is trying to run away. Sox and Thompson right next to him. V-Tune with another jump in another two-man stun, and they've got them both held. And general will go down. V-Tune in big trouble. He's trying to DP, but he gets rooted, so he will be cancelled. And V-Tune, he will go down, and he will not even kill No-Tail. That is a team wipe. OG. Radiance bottom tower. Oh, mid one goes in. They get the save on Aloha Dance from the Oracle Ulti. Always want to fly. Will get quickly blown up, however. Now Topson is surrounded by enemies. He does have socks. He's got mid one coming to back him up. He's just trying to kite them away. And now forcing the Slark to use his Dark Pact. He will be tossed away into mid one. Topson still living alive. And there comes the Chrono from Sumail. He's a perfect one. He's got Slark. He's got the Weaver. He needs to take down the Slark. He will. He will take down one of the biggest targets from FDM. He will also take down Aloha Dance. The two years gone. And now Iceberg coming in for the NA. Initiation onto the back as well. No tail is once again the target he wants to kill. Throws the X mark, does get saved with the E blade. Topson once again saving his teammates. The Tidebringer will do zero damage as well because of it, and they're just controlling him. Stunlock after stunlock after stunlock. Oh, if OG get it. Aloha Dance, he sees it. The info's given. And he's just gonna quickly go in Aloha Dance. We've seen this before from time and time again. No, this is going to definitely lead into some objectives. Roshan, minimum uh, respawn timer, 20 seconds as well. So OD could definitely just go for the information on the Rosh pit right after they finish off with this uh, bot tier 2 tower. Unless they want to keep on going, uh, DD is probably going to be up for about 10 seconds. Maybe a bit more than that. They'd love to yeah, they will. Oh, they find the Konko. They've got Iceberg. Iceberg, he cannot die here. He needs to get his BKB off as soon as possible. The Chronosphere on the back line, however. He's got Topson as well, and it always want to fly. will go down. There's no biting on the Oracle, and Pango will get blown up. Topson with the E-Blade, with the Dagon. They just evaporate these heroes, but it's five against three. And um, it's looking like Fly to Moon living their last moments here in this game one, but they're still going to give it a fight. Another two-man stun coming in from Sox as well. The Torrent to throw some mail into the air, and Iceberg is the tip of the Iceberg here. He is still taking damage. He's trying Dropping low, still got 1200 HP, but Thompson says no. Slaps the Dagon in the face, and FTM, three heroes down. Half a minute as well for the Pango. They might just as well try this fight without the Kunkka up. Going toward, they still have the Glyph. They're actually going to Glyph this tower. They know that this is the objective they want to fight at, unless they want to go up against Megas. 10 seconds for the Oracle and the Punk Pango to be up alive. They need to initiate soon. The melee racks are already getting wiped out. v -tune walking in. He's going ham. He pops in Minotaur Horn as well, but he's getting lassoed up. He will get saved by the by the Weaver. Aloha Dance will save him from now. Now mid one. In the middle of everything, Thompson goes into the fight. He throws his E-Blade and his Dagon into the fight. They've got another route coming in. The General throws his ulti, but they're just dodging him. Thompson, to he throws away v -tune. And now Sumail, one more minute until he has a Chronosphere up, so he won't be in this fight. Now they're ju just going straight onto Sumail. And Slark is also taking some hits. they got another route. The Oracle coming in as well to 
throw onto v Tune to keep him up alive just a bit longer. Soxa, he will get rooted off e Tune going in and tops and just jumping the back line. He's throwing the Oracle into the battle, but he does have his W on, so he won't take any magical damage there. Mid one going for another jump in here into the back, and Thompson is just making sure nobody's going to TP or sorry, blink backwards and go back to the fountain. So they're holding the back line. They're just, I don't know, they're playing baseball or something here. They just catch General. v Tune is in trouble. He's going to fall down as well. He does get a, another ulti coming in from Aloha Dance, but he will eventually fall down. GG will play this called as well. And OG will take game one against Fly to Moon. Great boss. Finally down. And mid one with Abaddon. So it's an offlane Abaddon instead of the support. OG, OG just needs everything to click together. And they're going for mid one again. Just get silence on the Phoenix. And we'll just man fight this all the way to the end. Not enough for a kill though, because VTune is blocking him. And VTune will get the first blood. So the South Pop by I'll always want to fly. He goes back to full HP. Yeah, it's the thing with the, the Shaker, and there we have it. Topson, they, once again, I'm just looking at the bottom lane, come back to mid, and Topson getting initiated on Sox. Soxa wants to go over a sneaky kill. One, two, there we have it. Soxa kills Iceberg. And we've got a lot of OG players heading into the mid lane. We've got Soxa, we've got No Tail. Sly Fist has been used. This is your 10 second timer. They need to make it count. There comes the bubble. Saving the Ember Spirit for now. Iceberg should be fine. Gets the root onto Thompson, tanking the tower. Oh, that hurts. Mid one also gets a kill and always want to fly at the same time. Right -click any right -click. Another attempt in mid, always want to fly. Combo right click connecting and it will be enough. Thompson gets the kill. He's trying to go for TP out as well. Will be cancelled. Or actually, I think he cancelled it himself there with the move. Bottom lane, however. General being initiated on by Sox and Sumail. Sumail pops the ultimate, kills off the creeps, and there we go. General has been punished, opening up the bot lane, but meanwhile, FTM, they realize that there's not many people in mid, so let's go and take a fight here. The egg has been dropped down as well. Topson in my mid one, and no tail. They blow up the egg. They managed to take it down. No tail, trying to make for a run for it. Iceberg cuts him down. Topson will fall as well, and now mid one is the final lone survivor here. We have the Earthshaker walking along the river, though. Mid one is a really tanky boy. I feel like he's happily fighting this Iceberg. Silenced up, mid one. Pops another shield. Six seconds for the Enchantress to be up alive. Socks are very low on mana. Does he have enough to pop the Echo Slam? But they're just sticking away from him. They're not allowing him to use it at all. Thompson says it correctly yep. here. They've me. also pinged out. Always want to fly. Here's the cold snap. Thompson mid one giving up the chase here. Fire spirits to slow down mid one. Six seconds for his ulti. Very close. Sneak. No, he three seconds away from his ulti. There's the hookshot coming from General as well. He's got Thompson. The dust will be used as well. And Invoker should be dead. Sunray poisons, slapping everything on Invoker Thompson. OG having a very good laning stage. Oh, Not bad for Fly to Moon either. Hit. Really good tornado from Thompson. Burns out Phoenix's entire mana pool. And they turn around onto Thompson. Mid one has a shield available. But he's too late. He was already casting it, but he's too late with it. Now he's going to get bubbled up. No Tail will die to General. That's a solo kill happening in the back line. And Abaddon is also in trouble. Pops his ultimate and eventually leading to his death. v Tune 5 0 and 2 on this Morphling. Sumail going to get found. They have an Ops Ward on the cliff, so they see the location of Sumail. Oh, the Echo Slam will come from Saxa. Keep Morphling busy, but Sumail will fall in the end. The ultimate will pop and always want to fly with the damage. TP's coming in mid. v Tune baiting out the first movements from OG. Pops the Manta and removes the Cold Snap. Tower at 400 HP. Nothing happening yet. Now Sumail, the stun onto the Phoenix Soxa. If only he had the Echo Slam, it would have been so much damage. And General gets him. Hey, wow, what a hook shot. And at the same time, the egg is going to explode. Nothing can stop them from stopping it. And there we have mid one stunned. Topson stunned dead. And now No Tail trying to make his way out. Mid one is taking the punishment here. Will also die as No Tail dies. That's three heroes down. This will be a fourth. The moment I saw that hook shot go in is a moment where you can just hear it in the comms like, nice. And everyone would just want to follow up on it the, it the phoenix egg popping at the same time now however we do have a lower dance in a bit of trouble one man echo slam still saving himself with the bubble iceberg in the middle of everything there we take down one sucks will die to general's rocket and the two man cogs with the hook shot general fly to moon take down four heroes thompson thompson gotta be careful here he has the ulti. Thompson dropping low. 
right clicks kicking in and there's the isolating hogs making sure that mid one cannot get nearby to throw the ego now that hook shot doesn't quite work out should make mid one survive and there's the egg just to make sure is it gonna be enough though is Samael in stun range no he's just outside of it he won't get stunned up but the sun ray is still ticking v2 kicking in at the same time the ultimate from luna but it does absolutely nothing og are forced to retreat onto the high ground v2 doesn't care and neither does iceberg it's a double kill more kills are coming in their way they're trying to hunt for the soxa that's it og gg 22 minutes in game three time between og and fly to moon of this game and then you have the pause too, which is Lashrak. But then again, stuns onto a Loha Dance. Oh, gee. Take first blood here in the Radiant side of the jungle. Sumail will be credited with the kill. Dark space. If they can catch this like, and this could be huge. He does get his ulti popped off, and the arrow will connect. And that is your like and dead by V Tune. Goodbye. Here comes the Marana ulti. No tail should be scouted out. Always want to flip pops the dust. They know that they've been seen. They're coming in force, but they might just rotate all the way back to mid. Iceberg is now sitting in the river. Topson really quick with this. Sumail is also very fast. 523 movement speed. You cannot run away from this disco pony. And Iceberg will go down. The arrow's not even needed for this kill. So now they're focusing onto the mid tower. Topson dishing out hits onto always want to fly. He will live through this. DP coming in as well. It's going to be general. They've also got the SF coming in. They're all OG heroes stacked up. He needs 10 more seconds with the arena of blood to come of cooldown, but he won't have the time for it. They do get the disruption up. There's an egg already popped in the back lines and OG in trouble. They've got Topson in the firing line. He will fall. Mid one being chased down. V-Tune pops his ulti. The arena of blood catches him. No tail is also inside it and they will take a third kill. There we go. Stun on Phoenix. Baiting him out. This is the warding wars right now. The same cliff has been contested for so many times. Here's the egg. The arena is there as well. General gets arrowed up by Soxa. The stun catching no tail, but no tail can be sacrificed for this. But OG's like, we're not sacrificing any comrades here. Sumail will go down to Iceberg in the top lane. They had the Lycan there as well with the sh shift used. And OG, can they find any response kills? Can they find a trade here in the bottom lane? Everyone from FTM are just disengaging and trying to get out. Topson following on Alohadas's heels. Gets a few hits in. Out comes Feet soon. A lot of damage. Iceberg with the Ultimate blows down OG! Four hero gone! Topson's TP cancelled as well! Fly to Moon! Are definitely beating OG in the astronaut race right now. Big ultimate from Iceberg with the Shadow Blade and now going for more. Mid one revealed in the mid lane, going for it. There's that TP coming in from Lashrak. They cannot cancel this one and always want to fly. Heavy new damage coming in from Sumail. Makes it work out. One second for the blink from mid one. He misses the stun on general. He just walks left when mid one went right. Iceberg still holding up right behind. Do they have any detection on him though? He could get a big one. There we have the arena block connecting onto two and no tail. Sumail are all so low. Sumail will already go down. And No-Tail still surviving. Topson getting hit by double raises, triple raises. Mid one gets another stun. No-Tail is already gone. Mid one trying to make a run for it. Soxa is also disengaging from this. Aloha dance. Oh, he's so close to canceling the TP. v tune is still chasing onto Topson. And he's got the Necro books. He's got the vision. And he might just find himself a kill. Topson pops his ultimate. Trying to buy some time for himself. We get him a bit of extra damage onto v tune But where's the backup? There's no backup for Topson. No, it's a OG going for more. They find Vitu. They locate where he is. And then there's a stun coming in from the sense of the buyback coming in from the Mars as well. Mars could get a huge ultimate once again. He's got four heroes in it. Soxa does manage to get out. There's also the Phoenix ulti in the back line. They will manage to take down V2 and OG find themselves another kill. General, they also got mid one. He's so low and he's still ticking low and he will go down. No tail is also falling. Soxa's down. No tail's courier will be killed as well. Take the bait in mid. Mid one is there once again. No tail right next to him. The bubble will be thrown in. Always want to fly. Looking for the dive. Goes for the Sunray first. Taking down the Centaur. The Stampede's not enough. OG decides to do it. They just want to go in. They're not going to allow General to do anything. But the damage is coming in. Iceberg. This man. v tune as well. They just do so much damage onto OG. And Fly to Moon are punishing OG at this point. They're just winning these fights time after time again. And now... Oh, sucks. And no. He's got two more lead charges. And Iceberg he needs to read them correctly here and there we have always want to fly and there you go on the cliff can you tp out no you cannot he will use the bonk but he won't connect top lane 
Soxa. Oh, it's, it was a trap all along. They just got initiated on right away as they turned in. Soxa, very low here. Always want to fly. Pops the egg at the back line. The tower is tanking the hits, doing zero damage to it. OG, wait for the egg to explode. Sumail actually caught by the stun. General sneaking up from behind. Gets the ulti onto two. Sumail is the primary target here. Mid one is also dropping low. Sumail will go down. They will take the tower. They will take mid one as well. And FTM are on the push. Soxa TPing back home. And now comes Thompson, but you are too late for the party. Or is he? Is he wants to make the big plays happen? He's tank the general is just tanking all of this, and Thompson is evaporated. And yeah, no two. Nope. Yeah. He feels the hurt. He feels the hurt from Iceberg. These melee racks are a piece of cake for them. Fly to Moon will take the top racks, and that's the first racks of the game down at 23 minutes. And he finds mid one. All by himself. In front of the enemy base. How um <laughs> How much respect are you going to give Iceberg at this point? Like, you, you, I mean, they didn't even see him there, but they're just giving him so much right now. No Tail almost getting three shot. Thompson can't fight this. And there's still an Aegis to worry about. Well, No Tail is gone. General gets a kill. The tier three in the mid lane in trouble. The arrow will not connect from Soxa. 20 seconds for the Abaddon to be up alive. And FTM really giving OG the fight for the life here right now. Up Sopson is so much damage now taken from him. But he will still stay alive. The range racks will fall. The melee racks are in trouble as well. Sumail has a fresh BKB. Can they find an opening? Aloha Dance doesn't get stunned up. The Necro unit will tank the arrow. Sumail is just getting body blocked by his teammates. And he will get credit to death. Iceberg gets the kill. He will pop his BKB for the first time. The Aegis will also run out just in time. Now Med one. Going for the stun, trying to look for the Mars in general. He will get stunned in place, but he will just tank it all. And Thompson will go down. There comes the arena, but he catch nothing with it. But they're still running away from the V2, fighting all the way to the fountain, trying to look for Soxa, and they will kill him off. And now they cannot take down mid one, but they will happily take three from OG. Plus the Rax, and they're looking for the GG. They're just putting iron branches on the ground, saying that we have this game. We're going to take it from you. We lost in game one. We won you in the second, and now we will evaporate. We will demolish you in game three. OG in trouble. Can they still do a last hurrah? 13 seconds for the last track to be alive. 18 seconds for Topson and the Clinks. No Tails ulti already popped. The last tier for towers down. They're going on to the Ancient. And no Kiji has been called yet. They're still going at it. They're hitting and they're trying to make the damage pull out. Sox against the arrow into Mars. No Tail will be destroyed. SF has been held in place, but the Ancient will go down and fly to Moon. Will take the victory in this series. Two to one.